obesity, how much is related to environment and to genes? I think you have a lot of data from animal experiment where you can control for everything or almost everything. Sure. Uh, so first we discuss your data and then we interpret your data. Okay, so uh, maybe I should do it a slightly different way and tell you what people think yeah. is genes or, and then I'll tell you what my, my uh, data shows. So the studies in humans have tended to suggest that probably about 65% of the variation in whether we get fat or not is due to our genetics. And the remainder is then due to environmental effects. So we've been doing some experiments uh, where we've tried to remove all the sources of variability. So we've looked at genetically identical mice that are kept in an identical environment and we've given them an identical diet. And so in that circumstance you would expect they would all get fat to exactly the same amount. But in fact what we found is completely the opposite. There's enormous individual variability. Some mice only put on a very little amount, other ones put on ten times as much. But uh one factor which was very predictive was physical activity. Why are genetically, genetically identical mice uh, active in a, at a different level? Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I, that's a very good question. And actually, for the physical activity, we're not really clear what causes those individual differences. Another factor that seemed to be important was uh, when we did our experiment, the mice were already 10 weeks old. And it seems to be there's already some variation in how obese the individuals are at that stage. And that has a very strong effect on whether you become obese on the high fat diet. So your conclusion is very little in this mouse experiment is related to genes. But there might be a certain aspect of gene programming. That's right, that's right. So what we think happens is that what's very important in the mice is the environment that the offspring develop in, either during pregnancy or during lactation. Because although they're inbred mice, they also differ enormously in the litter sizes. So sometimes the mother mouse only has two offspring, sometimes it has 10 offspring. And so the offspring that have uh, nine other siblings that are competing for the milk, they grow very small and they're not, not so uh, big when they weigh. And yes. later on, they're protected. Okay. They're small so this is when they win. Yeah, yeah. Somehow. So it seems to be a programming effect. But you also had a data set on children. We do. So we've done some studies where we've looked at uh, families, where we've measured both of the parents and the child, and we've looked at uh, whether the child's physical activity is related to the mother's activity or to the father's activity. And what we found was uh, just for a, a one section of the activity, just the activity during the morning seems to be related to the mother more than it's related to the father. Now that we thought, well, okay, that could just be because the mother's at home looking after the child and that's why it's, but if that was the case, then you would also expect that to happen in the afternoon because the mother's also with the, the child in the afternoon and the father's away. away. Well, generally in our example, it's the father that works and the mother's at home. Uh, but in fact, there's no relationship in the afternoon. And another interesting thing is that the mother's abdominal muscles are also related to the child's abdominal muscles, and these muscles are related to the physical activity. So I think it's more a, a genetic effect through the mother rather than something that's just a coincidence of the way or the work the mother, is done. Or the mother programs the child. Sure, that's the implication. The mother seems to program the child with the physical activity. So uh, a small amount of the genes per se, this is what you say, a lot of environmental factors which are important, so I think uh, the way that we've been thinking about it is 65% genes, 35% environment. You say? I think 35% environment is, is probably correct, but of that 65%, we don't know exactly how much, but maybe half or maybe three quarters of that are these programming effects. Okay, so there's a lot of room. There's a lot of programming, but we don't know exactly how much. Thank you <laughs> yes, very much. no problem.